picture is a poem with a regular structure of five stanzas of five lines. Each has a regular shape, with the third line the longest in each line, which helps it sound like a monologue, like somebody speaking. Initially, we feel sympathy for the first person narrator. He's tired, he's not very well, and his boss, talking to him on the answer machine, presents him as a victim of his work. The answer phone kept screaming as personification and perhaps symbolises the anger he feels at the world. He hitches for a specific reason for his work. He has an ordinary car and he doesn't even own it. This is in contrast to the hitchhiker that he picks up. This hitchhiker is following the sun to west from east with just a toothbrush and the good earth for a bed, which sounds very romantic. He has freedom, no responsibilities, and he's very different to the narrator. The Blowing in the Wind song that's referenced is a song by Bob Dylan, who is a hippie icon and refers to the sort of hippie-ish ideals of the narrator, of the hitchhiker. The violent reaction from the narrator, he takes out his frustrations on the hitcher by hitting him in the face for six times with the crook lock of his car. Suggests that this hitcher has really got to him. The enjoyment in this part of the poem heightens the violence of the moment and shows how disturbed the speaker is and creates a sense of speed. The matter-of-fact tone that the narrator uses to report the fact that he didn't even swerve as he drops the car into third gear suggests that he's almost proud of what he did and that his violent outburst doesn't affect him. The enjambment at the beginning of this stanza, where he drops the car into third and runs across, helps create, keep the tone relaxed and calm, making the violence even more chilling. The bouncing off the curb and disappearing down the verge, again, is quite chilling imagery. The fact that the two men are the same age, give or take a week, could be what has added to his frustration. They're the same in age, but they're very, very different people and have different experiences of life. The breeze running its fingers through his hair is personification, suggesting that the hitchhiker is at one with nature. But there is also an amusing irony here, as he's been swept out of the car, the wind is, is going to be running through his hair. It was 12 noon, and the fact that the speaker then talks about the weather is small talk suggesting that his actions have not affected him at all and the colloquial tone adding to the realism at the end of the poem where he makes a sick joke suggests that he is quite a psychotic and self-centered character you could look at the contrasts between the narrator and the hitcher and think about whether you're able to answer these questions and you can think about the juxtapositions, the contrast between the two. And if you wanted to think about an exam question, you could explore how the poet presents violence in Hitcher. And you could think about the enjambment, the structure that has been chosen. You could think about the contrast between characters and particularly think about tone.